this video, I will show you an easy way to create a half drop repeat pattern in Procreate in few steps. It's my process. I hope it will help. So let's start creating. I'm going to create this design. So I'll start by explaining the difference between a standard and half drop repeat pattern. A standard repeat pattern consists of stacking your design in a grid format, while a half drop is created by moving your design across then up or down half the size of your canvas. Now my way of creating a half drop is by moving these two canvas and place them halfway the original canvas. I'm gonna remove the border and as you can see here my half drop. Step one, I create a design in the center of my canvas. I'm using a rectangular canvas and I will put the size in the video description. If you're interested in knowing the best size for a rectangular canvas, stay till the end of this video. So step one, I start by sketching in the middle and I try not to touch the border of my canvas. For you to see my half drop, I'm going to draw a shape. A diamond is the best shape uh, to demonstrate uh, this option. Step two, I'm going to take the center sketch and put it in the four corners of my canvas. To do that, I'm going to add a new layer, put it on multiply and fill it with white. It will help me place the copies in the corners and be uh, pixel perfect precise in placing them. I'm going to group everything and make four copies of uh, the group. I keep a copy in case I need to make some changes to the original design that I made. Then I take each copy and with selection I put it I put the snapping on and the distance to max so it snap perfectly to the corner and take each of the group and place them in the corner of my canvas. When you see the orange line it means the snapping is pixel perfect. Now I'm going to continue the sketch in the white space created from placing the center design in the corners of my canvas. I'm going to change the color and create a diamond shape in the center where I created the rest of my sketch and I'm going to activate the uh, first diamond that I created. With three fingers I'm going to swipe to the bottom, select copy all, swipe with three fingers again and select paste. A flattened copy of all my design is created on top, so I'm going to duplicate this flattened copy four times and make it half the size of my canvas. And as you can see here, my half drop. I'm going to repeat my process again in the coloring phase. 
So step one, I start by coloring my design in the center of my canvas while making sure it doesn't touch the borders. Note, I recommend putting each color on a different layer. It's, it's easier for you to change the colors that way. I drew a diamond shape to show the half drop and I added a new white layer, put it on multiply. So step two, I need to make four copies of my center design and place them in the corners of my canvas. I'm going to group everything and make four copies of the group. I keep a copy in case I need to make some changes to the original design. So I move each copy and put the selection on snapping mode and the distance to max. And when I see the orange guide, it means my group is snapping correctly to the corner of my canvas. I start by coloring my design in the center of my canvas. With three fingers, I'm going to swipe to the bottom, select copy all, swipe with three fingers again and select paste. A flattened copy of all my design is created on top. I duplicate this flattened copy, make it half the size of my canvas. And here is the final design. Here the version with the diamond shapes where you can see the half drop created. To create a rectangular canvas, you need to have an even number for the size of your canvas. To make sure that you selected the right size, you need to divide your number by two. Example here, the size of my canvas is 2264 uh, as width and height is 3000. So I'm going to divide the 2264 by 2. I will end up with 1132. So as you can see, the original size uh, ends up by 4. And when I divide it by 2, it will be 2. So both of them are even numbers. The same for my height, 3000, if you divide it by 2, it will be 1500, and the end is 0. I will be adding more videos, so if you are interested, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you.